Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. Uh, so I, I got a question, and and it was a different question, but but interesting. Um, the question was, why are MSPs a target for the bad guys, for hackers? So, and if you don't know that MSPs are a prime target for hackers. Um, then just pick up the news from you know earlier this year. There's there's there were several instances. Actually, there was an MSP in Houston that got hacked. Here's why. Let me give you an example, and this will make it pretty clear. <clears throat> Let's say there's a company with a thousand users. A company with a thousand users will have a staff to run the IT infrastructure. Just on security, there will be four or five people. So a company with a thousand users will have about four to five just security personnel in IT. All they're doing is focusing on security. Now, take the example of an MSP that is managing a thousand users. They'll be lucky if they have one dedicated security guy for those thousand users. So you see where this is going. On one side, you have an enterprise with a thousand users, four to five security people. And then on the other side, you have an MSP managing a thousand users with only one, if that, security people. Who are the bad guys going to target? Are they going to target the building where they have four security people standing in front of the door and guarding it? Or are they going to target the building where all they have to do is pick the lock and, and walk in? That's why MSPs are a prime target. Now, this issue becomes expounded by the fact that most MSPs are so busy taking care of tickets, routine tickets, um, that they are not implementing the same things that they uh, support with their customers. They're not implementing them internally. So for example, our secret sauce, the way the TAM role works with the VCIO role, drives down the costs. It drives down the tickets, the reactive tickets, which basically drives down costs. We implement the same role internally. A lot of MSPs don't have those same roles, the secret sauce that they're using with customers. They're not using the same secret sauce internally. So they, a lot of times they will cut corners. Um, they will um, uh, do certain things, you know, like uh, a prime example is uh, an IT admin needs remote access. So since he's an IT admin, all he does is he enables himself with remote access and all he has is username and password to protect himself. He's like, eh, MFA is too much trouble. The process broke right there. The process was any kind of remote access has to have, has to be secured with MFA or, you know, whatever your system you're using. And in this case, the IT admin decided, eh, you know, I'm in a rush, I gotta get home, I wanna work from home, so I'm just gonna set this machine up, allow myself access to it, and I'll log in, I'll get some work done. Well, the problem is, now that IT admin left the entire company and the company's customers vulnerable. And that's actually what happened at one of the MSPs down here in Houston. So. MSPs should implement the same uh, process that they implement at their customer sites. And they should go beyond that because we all know that MSPs are a prime target because they're managing so many different customers and they're the gateways into all these customers in a variety of industries. So this is why MSPs are a target and MSPs this is why MSPs have to go beyond what they normally do with their customers to protect themselves because in a way, the MSPs protecting themselves are really protecting their customers.
So just wanted to get those thoughts out. I, I got asked about this question and I was like, well, yeah, it's pretty clear why this is the case. Main thing, budget. MSPs don't have the budget to have those dedicated resources that the thousand user enterprise has. Because the thousand user enterprise, when they want a budget for four security guys, they go to the board and ask for it and usually they'll get it. An MSP will have to go to their customer and ask for it and usually what would the customer do? They would try to cut the cost as much as they can. They're not going to be thinking like that board that's sitting in the enterprise and say, oh yes, security is important for our thousand users. They're going to be like, oh, I only have 20 users. Um, I'm going to go with this other guy who's just lower cost, you know. So there's a difference. There's a, and, and, and it's a, it's a balancing act. Um, so MSPs have to be really good at what they do to be able to get things done at the same level as that thousand user enterprise for all of their thousand users that they're supporting across all customers. And I'm just giving an example of a thousand because it's a good round number. But I uh, hope that makes sense. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, until uh, Friday, everybody have a great day and uh, be safe out there.